My name is David Gooding, president and founder of Gooding & Company, and I'm here at Pebble Beach, the Pebble Beach Concorde d'Elegance. We had our auction this weekend. The star of the evening, the 1970 Porsche 917K. And at our auction, we sold the Porsche 917K 1970, and we sold it for a world record price for a Porsche. We made 14080000 The Porsche was featured in the movie Le Mans with Steve McQueen. But at the time, it was owned by Joe Sifford, who was a Porsche factory racing driver. He was a, one of the top drivers, raced 917s quite successfully. When he passed away, the car was then sold to a uh, collector in Paris and didn't see the light of day for many years until 1999-2000, uh, when uh, the fellow that consigned it to us bought the car, and then it was subject to a total, very, very extensive multi-year restoration. <laughs> The top lot at the RM Sotheby's Monterey auction was the 1956 Aston Martin DBR1 chassis number one. $22.5 million. It's the most expensive British car ever sold and obviously the most expensive Aston Martin. Sold your car, sir. Congratulations. So we had a 1966 Ferrari 275 GTBC that we sold for $14.5 million and that was a world record. Absolutely incredible car, one of only 12 made. It had an extensive European racing history. It's one of the finest Ferraris I've ever driven. Our second top seller was the Ferrari short wheelbase, the 250 short wheelbase, which was a stunning, stunning car, around $8.3 million. The 1958 BMW 507 is a world record for a BMW 507, and we sold it for $2.75 million. We had a, almost a 90% sell-through rate over the course of the two evenings. Uh, total sales over just around 133 million. So we had a sale of over 90, 90 million dollars. Our sell-through rate was 81%, down from uh, previous years, but that's okay. We actually have seen the market going at, up at such a rate that uh, we think it was actually a healthy correction. As many people know, the classic car market is a bit of a moving target. A lot of times when you have that perfect balance of a a conservatively reserved car and you do a great job marketing it and promoting it, um, then it, it generally will achieve that price, sometimes eclipse the actual high estimate.